Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a hat using a basket wave stitch. You make a slip knot first. Sorry, make a slip knot. And then we're going to make a chain of multiple of five. So one, two, three, four, five. I have here a chain of 90, which is a multiple of five. And now we're going to add chain seven. So one two three four five six and seven so this is an adult size try it before you go to the next round try it on around your head and then see if it fits you now go to the four chain from your hook so one two three four yarn over and then insert your hook there and then yarn over and pull yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then just make one single crochet per stitches that a one double crochet per stitches or per chain sorry one double crochet in each of the chain until the last chain i am here in my last stitch making my last double crochet and this is your work should look like so make sure it fits around your head before you make the round two round three chain three one two three and then turn go to the second chain from your hook a second double crochet in the previous round so one and then two yarn over insert your hook here in the front loop that is our front loop and then make one double crochet yarn over and then repeat in the front loop in the next double crochet in the previous round and then repeat always in the front loop by this time and then we are going to count this one including the chain three one two three four and five so i have we have five stitches in total four front loop and then one chain three which is included here all together and then we're going to move on our back posts so yarn over and then we make back post in the next double crochet in the previous round so insert your hook like that lifting that double crochet in the previous round up in the back and then make one double crochet go to the next and make a back post just like that and then we're going to repeat that three more times until we have five back post double crochet in total so that's three in the back post that's four i think it's pretty easy that's five and this is how it look like and then we're gonna go in the next uh five double crochet in the previous round so one two three four five we're gonna make that we're gonna make a one front post in each of the five stitches so one two three four and then last one five and we're just going to alternate that five front post double crochet and then five back post double crochet in the next i have five stitches left here so i'm gonna make a five front post double crochet so one two three four and then the last one five in the front post 
like that. And this is how it look like. Front post, back post, front post. Round four, chain three, one, two, and three. Turn. And then skip the first double crochet and then go to the next, make a back post. So now when you turn it, it became a back post. So then just place a back post to a crochet there. That's one. And then back post in the next stitch in a previous back post, double crochet. And like that. Until all the back post is done. And now that will be five stitches here. Then we have here front post, five stitches, and place a front post each on the top of that. One front post double crochet on the top of the front post double crochet five times. And like that. As you can see, it started to form like a basket. The beginning. And then here we have a back post and we're going to place a back post double crochet in each of those. So make sure you don't skip anything, always try to count them. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to alternate that until the last five stitches. The so one back post in the last stitch. And I have five back posts here in the last. One, two, three, four, five. And this is your worksheet look like. So now chain three in round five. One, two, three. And then our back post will become a front post. And then we're gonna place, go to the, skip the first chain three, uh, the first double crochet, and then go to the next, make a front post in each of the four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then five back post in the previous back post double crochet one so just like in the previous round always five repeat that until the last stitch alternating five back post and then five front post until the last stitch I am here in my last stitch, making my last front post double crochet. So like this, just like in the previous round. And this is how it look like. Here we're in round five now. So round six, chain three, one, two, three, and then turn. So this time we're going to make a against this one here so we're gonna place a four front post double crochet here we're gonna change it so chain three and then front post like that insert in your hip just like that front post four times two three and then last one, four. And this is how it look like. And then one back post double crochet in each of the five stitches here. So this is a front post. So now we're going to make a back post. One back post each. One, two, 
three, four, and then five. And then we're gonna alternate that until the last stitch. Yeah, I'm here in my last stitch, making my last front post double crochet. And this is how your work should look like. So now round seven, we're going to repeat this one here. Chain three, and then turn, and then one back post double crochet in the second back post double crochet. So skip this one, go to the next. So actually we just repeat this one here now. So only the round six was a little bit different. And now we're starting the same again. And then one front post double crochet in each of the five stitches here. This one, front post, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to alternate this one again. So we're going to alternate this one, back post and then front post until the last stitch. And we're going to make four rows in total. So that's one, two, and then two more. And then a change into front post here on the top of the back post. And then back post on the top of the front post. Four rows of that. So just like what we did here. So four rows here and then four rows here of back post double crochet and then another round of four rows of front post double crochet so go ahead do that i am here in my last stitch making my last front post double crochet since i don't have enough yarn anymore so i'm gonna end this color here here one two three four and five i have made 21 rows in total chain one pull tight and cut the yarn now I'm going to change color since I am out of this yarn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a slip knot. So just choose whatever yarn you have available, which I am doing right now. So I'm going to insert my hook here in the last stitch. And then I'm going to insert my hook here in the slip knot and pull. And then chain three. And then turn. And I will just repeat what I did in the previous round that we just did. So now I have four here already. And I'm going to make the other way around now, the front loop. Four rows of the front loop. Just like what we did here. The only difference is we change color. So making a front loop and then a back loop five back loop in a five stitches in a previous round and always four rows of that So go ahead do that and I will just continue repeating these ones here in the previous round using just a different color that I am doing now. This is kind of like a dark brown but it doesn't look in the camera because of the light but it is a darker brown than this one here. is nine and a half inches long 17 and a half inches wide and then once you're done we're going to chain one pull tight and cut the yarn now we're going to connect this side here to close it so make a chain make a slip knot first and then we're going to insert my hook here in the very first stitch in the very corner and as well as here in the side and then i'm gonna insert my hook here in the slip knot and just pull that
and then here is in a random stitch that you can find just make sure it is aligned all the way here and not you end up like this the other one is bigger the other one is smaller so just make sure you end up in the end like that it's always the end here so making sure this is aligned here and then just go through in each of the stitches you find in a random stitch i would take the very corner here inside very side and then just make a slip stitch so insert your hook in any stitch you find and as well as here in the other side in the bottom and then yarn over and pull and then pull through to slip stitch close then go in the next stitch making sure it's not so far from the previous you make so just here so you don't make a bigger hole and then it in the next stitch here or just like that right in front of this stitch here on the top so it is aligned and slip stitch so just like that going through in the random stitch here on the top and directly the one in the bottom just opposite to the top like that so as you can see i'm just picking up stitches here and not too far to each other not too close as well just enough and so it's very easy to connect I am here in the corner now so just take a few more slip stitch there and then I'm gonna take to close this last stitch here I'll take that one and then it's close nicely close in the end chain one pull tight and cut the yarn so random stitch is our shortcut to close this easily and as you can see, it's, it's really nice, well done, close, and really good. Now it's up to you which is your top and which is your bottom. And insert your hook in any stitch here on the top. And then grab that yarn. I skip two stitch and then go to the next. And skip two stitch. One, two, and then go to the next. And repeat that all the way around. One, two. And as you can see, I alternate this one. I started in the bottom and now I'm going to grab it on the top. So skip two stitches, one, two. Take the next stitch, grab that yarn from the top and pull up. Skip two stitch, go to the next, grab that yarn from the bottom. Skip two stitch, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab that yarn and pull up. I have one stitch left so I will just close this one here I will cut the rest of that yarn and then we're going to pull that like that very easy and then we're going to make a few knots I'm gonna close that tight to close it properly here on the top and then make a few knots like that one two three and then we're going to grab that stitch one more time the other side like that and then just grab that yarn and pull that and then i'm gonna repeat one more time here I just try to secure this properly okay like that grab the two yarn and then yarn over and pull through and close so now we're going to add um, this one so now you can leave it like this 
if you don't have this then just pull this one inside and then secure inside here making sure the slip stitch is here inside and then you're good to go and but for me i'm gonna add this one and then there is a nice loop here and then grab that yarn i will grab one yarn first then i can make a few knots easier Okay, grab that and then make a few knots. Pull. Make a few knots now to connect. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab that yarn inside. That and then grab that yarn and pull it inside. And then I will grab that again to the top and I will just I will grab that here like that so it's up to you how you attach this one I will just try to make this um, pom-pom and this one secure properly then I'm gonna insert my hook here in the loop. Grab that yarn and pull. And then last one, I will grab that inside to secure it. I will take that here. No, it's too far. I'm grabbing that one more time. And you are here in there. You see that? And then I will take that, insert my hook here, and then grab one yarn like that, and then make a few knots. So that's just how I attach the pom pom. Is this a pom pom? Yeah, it's a pom pom. And then I'm gonna attach it one more time so it is really secure like that and then here like that and then make a few knots and once you're satisfied just cut the rest of that yarn okay like that you're done and i have one stitch here one loop I will secure that making a few knots with the other one here so it's perfect okay so cut the rest I cut just a little bit sorry for that but then now I will just hide the rest of that yarn here and you're done so actually we still have stuff here we have it inside so secure all the remaining stitches and you're done that's cute super cute i really like it 